Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we are just gonna do super easy, super simple, three eyeshadows, one eyeshadow brush, makeup tutorial. So if you wanna see how I got this work appropriate, everyday, living your best life makeup tutorial, please keep watching. As per usual, Tatcha Dewy Skin Cream. Just whack that everywhere. Smells so good. Mm. Put a little bit more on my forehead because I feel like it needs it. It's feel dry today. I actually get my mirror. Maybe not the bird. Right there is good. So just everyday simple I am in a road forgive me work makeup. This is what I did yesterday. <clears throat> so I think I'm gonna just do the same thing. Real quick and easy, mostly focused on skin, not much going on on the eyes at all, and then kind of a dark lip, but not really. We'll, we'll decide. Moving on. I'm also gonna go in with the silk canvas, cover up my pores, because I'm struggling in the face department. I have been in a NARS kick. Like, I love NARS. I'm buying everything NARS. I just, I'm obsessed. So, I'm going to use their All Day Luminous Weightless Foundation in Light Six. I'm going to put this on with my Japanese sponge that I have not wet today because I can't be bothered to do anything today. By the time you guys see this, everything should be opening back up in Alabama. Um, so I'm really excited about that. Being able to actually go places again will be lovely. I've just been going to work and back home. Should be in a little bit, huh? Okay. I was hoping that the next video I filmed would actually have a background instead of just my plain wall and window back here and it was supposed to come in yesterday but it did not so we're just gonna tough it out and it'll be okay I've got to stop talking when I do my foundation because I get these awful like <laughs> creases up here because I just move my forehead too much So I did this yesterday, um, I'm putting a shelf up in this room, kind of like on this side above where my computer is, just for some extra storage and just to make it feel a little bit more nice in here. Um, so I went yesterday to Home Depot to get some things for that and so I just did basic, really focus on your skin kind of makeup and that's what I wanted to do today. spray my face just because I feel like my face has been really really dry nothing comes out of this this is just the glow recipe watermelon glow ultra fine mist for hydrating glowy radiance but I just wanted um 
some extra moisture to my skin because I just feel like it's so dry and cakey lately no matter what I do. out and just spray my face throughout this whole why do I just keep losing my words throughout this whole video um for concealer I don't know what I want to use I used the NARS concealer yesterday but I think today I'm going to use the Too Faced Born this way and just slap that on all over my face the sponge again which I really should have wet but I didn't so bite me oh. hopefully things opening back up will be good hopefully we can put this whole quarantine behind us and get back to kind of normal. That's what I'm hoping for anyway. You ever just see people's updates and they don't want to be rude but I just don't care. Some people that no matter what they do you just can't bring it in even to like them and I know that's wrong but that's where we are I'm gonna spray my face again because I just to set my face. Also, if the audio is weird, I did not plug up my mic, so I'm just using my camera audio because we just got too far into it for me to notice. All right, I'm going to use the Jeffree Star Magic Setting Powder in the shade Bayer, which is just flying all over the place. I'm going to Set my creasy zones. I don't know how people don't set their makeup. I can't stand the feeling of tacky foundation. And I know people who are like super oily have to. So maybe their foundation doesn't feel, or people who are super dry have to not set it usually, but I don't know. It just feels so tacky and I can't, can't deal. And it just creases everywhere. I just, it's not for me. Okay. So now that we've set my major creasy areas and the forehead lines who are uninvited and just keep showing up. powder brush and my MAC Studio Fix and just oh threw it I threw my, threw my brush anyway we're just gonna go in with this and just swirl it all over my face to set everything else do people still use MAC when I first started watching YouTube and getting into makeup, MAC was like the thing. And I remember I splurged on a MAC foundation, ordered it online, was so, so excited for it to come in. And when it did and I put it on, I was orange. Oh, I was 
so orange no matter the undertone no matter what and it smelled like paint and I was just thinking how do people enjoy this foundation but it was the foundation that every youtuber was using and I was like uh-huh not for me not today all right so we have that set and I'm gonna go in again with some more setting spray because your girl needs it all right so moving on to the rest of our skin I'm going to go in with this this is just some Anastasia contouring powders um, and MAC Emphasize. Alright. Where is my brush that I like to do this with? I don't know. So I'm just going to go in with too big of a brush. And I'm going to go in with the Anastasia Banana Powder mixed with MAC Emphasize and the Anastasia Vanilla Powder. I'm just going to mix all of those on this brush and go around my eyes. Maybe I should do it with a sponge. This is the Real Techniques Powder Sponge, so I'm just going to dip it into all three and whack it around my eyes. I've just been liking to do this recently. I don't really know why. I just feel like it helps to cover up all that darkness under my eyes. And I'm gonna go up above the forehead with it. Above the forehead. On the forehead with it. Not just like up in the air. Chin and bridge of the nose. Okay, that sponge is so weird feeling. Now I'm going to take my ColourPop E20 and I'm going to dip into Anastasia Fawn Contour Powder and just chisel the cheeks. down the side of my nose and very very lightly under my lip. Okay. We are chiseled. Time to bronze. For bronzer I'm going to be using my NARS Paradise Found Laguna Bronzer. This is just the big one with my Morphe R2. We're just gonna go in. I know this bothers people with the hair, but just can't be bothered to clip it back or hold it back or really do anything today. Right. Hairline time. here from a sunburn so if you can see that on camera ignore it be a good friend all right we are bronzed staying on my narzer my narzer my narzer my nars kick i'm going to go in with their new blush um orgasm x which is so freaking pigmented look at, look at it it is beautiful we just look at that mm. let me just go ahead and swatch the OG orgasm next to it so you can kind of see all right so orgasm X and then orgasm the lights are really bright but so perfect, such a perfect color. 
and I'm going to use it on this Morphe just kind of domed brush. Tap it in very gently, tap it off, and then swirl. See how freaking pigmented that is? And I usually, no matter how careful I am, have to go back in with a sponge and just kind of fix myself. <laughs> Real Techniques powder sponge and we're just going to use what's left over on it just to cover. Um, I'm just obsessed. It's beautiful. Okay. L'Oreal Hydro Perfect Loose Setting Powder and we're just going to chisel just a little bit um, where we put that bronzer and blush. Just because I always feel like I take it too far down. I just want to fix that while I can. Okay. Just gonna brush that away with my big mode of powder brush. I'm just gonna blend everything in. Beautiful. been obsessed with any one particular highlight lately but I think I'm just gonna go in with um if I can get it out just balm Mary Luminizer it's kind of like a champagne -y. not quite so poppy but still poppy highlighter and I don't have the full size, I'm just using this little sample from, I want to say from when I still had Ipsy. It's So it's totally fine. Then just a little right there. Do that with my finger. I just want that to be really, really highlighted. Always do the same thing for my brows. I'm just gonna put it in a dark brown shadow. I'm just gonna fill in where they're a little sparse. And I always do this just on this Amazon brush. It's not named. I don't even know if you can get it anymore. I got it so many years ago. There's my first set of makeup brushes. Because with these Amazon brushes, I was putting everything on with either my fingers or those little sponge applicators that come in products. So. There's that. Good enough today. Eyes. Eyes, eyes, eyes. Eyes. I think for eyes today, I am going to use Makeup Geek. And I think I'm going to go in first with... Soft brown. I'm sorry, I was looking at it for so long. I really thought that wasn't a makeup geek, but shit, I think it is. I mean, I don't know. Um, and we're just gonna go up and through the crease very, very lightly. I 
don't want to do a whole lot to my eyes. Yesterday, all I used was bronzer in my crease, and then I moved on with my day. But today, we are gonna do a little, a little something with them. And then I'm going to go in with Latte. I really think that first shade I used was MAC. I think it was MAC Soft Brown. I just feel strongly. That's what it was. Um, but this is Makeup Geek Latte. Artemis, which is this shade right here. I'm just gonna do that all over my lid. This is way more than I did to my eyes yesterday, but whatever. Then I'm gonna go back in with a latte and just really deepen and blow it out this way. And that's it. That's it for the eyes. Three eyeshadows. One brush, mascara. For mascara, I'm gonna use the Pat McGrath Fetish Eyes. Just pop that on and I'll be right back. Okay, all right. Um, Pat McGrath Fetish Eyeshadow is on. Now we are just gonna pop on a lip and we will be done. Obviously you would get dressed, I'm not gonna. Lip. I'm gonna do the same for my lips I think that I did yesterday. How do you disappear that fast? I used you yesterday. Ah, oh, okay, found it. I am using the Christian Audette and Mel Thompson lip liner in smooches. Put that on. I feel like of all the things that I just absolutely do not do gracefully, lip liner is like number one that I don't I don't do gracefully at all. The lipstick that I used since I'm really excited she's no longer a part of the company and I can try their stuff is the KVB bow and arrow. Everybody used to love this and I wanted to try it so bad because it's such my color. Now I can. It feels like this lip liner was made for this lip color. All right. Okay guys, that is it. That is literally all that I did. This is even more than I did yesterday and it still took like no time at all other than the blending of my foundation. So here's where we are at. And I'm gonna set my face again. Watermelon Glow Mist. Last time. And that's it. Alright, if you guys liked it, please like, comment, subscribe. You know the drill. I'll call your mom, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.